we're at uh, Doi Saket, Hawaii Ka, the nice little reservoir. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a cross country loop. <laughs> Beauty <laughs> all around. <laughs> Hello trail runners, welcome to this new video and today I'm going to review a trail in Doi Saket district. Stay tuned, uh, we'll get into it very shortly but before we get into the trail if you enjoy this video do give it a like, subscribe to our channel to stay updated about new videos and of course if you want to share anything please do so, leave a comment we would love to hear from you. So let's get into the trail. This route in Doi Saket area is 13 kilometers long with just under 300 meters of elevation. So that's a very manageable distance, very manageable elevation. The starting point is at the Hoi Ka Reservoir, a nice little water reservoir. And from there you will immediately jump onto a single track trail that, that loops around the, the reservoir. So guys, how's it going? Almost there. So then you will arrive at a bit wider track and you'll go up a fire break to a temple, Wat Doi Chom Chang. Definitely do check that out. Uh, it's a nice point to take, to take a breather as well. And then from there you'll descend along the road for a bit before you jump back into the forest for more trails. Oh. Okay, we survived the trails, good job. Now it's just oh. yeah, yeah. a little bit of a road to, to make the loop complete. So the pros of this trail, um, first of all, as I mentioned, it's a very scenic area. You have the reservoir, which is really nice, very scenic and very beautiful. But then you also have the temple with the viewing platform, amazing views. And uh, in between you have nice forest, you have this bit of the beaten track feeling. Uh, secondly, it's also the versatility of the place. You could actually cut the track uh, short quite easily so depending on your fitness level or depending on what kind of a run you are looking for you can really uh, adjust your route very easily because you stay around that water reservoir um, some tips yeah definitely do get the GPX file from the description below so that you can just follow the route because that the trails they're not mapped if you look on on maps.me or whatever you may get lost quite easily second tip in terms of shoes or equipment you don't need anything extreme the route is really quite easy uh, there's a, a fair amount of road so it's very accessible very easy and um, yeah nice if you just want to get started i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed the views of this trail do Give us a like, do subscribe and stay tuned for more videos to come. Have a nice day everyone and see you on the trails. Bye! <laughs>